Man, I tell you, uh, that was strange. Um, I'm not going to say anything conspiratorial or anything like that, but it is kind of weird that at the page that was going to be the cool clinch to the story, suddenly I can't stream. Anywho, we're back. And we're going to finish up the last three pages here. Dr. Leon Davidson, he has been annoying the tar out of the CIA. They are done. They literally are calling him a chore and they want, they just don't want to be around him anymore. So here we go. They decided to really pull out a, a fun little trick here. Oh man. Uh, somebody was talking to Dr. Davidson by telephone, advising him that we cannot resolve his problem concerning the space message and its transmitter because records on the matter have been destroyed. <laughs> oh, man, they accidentally destroyed the records. Oh, yeah. Yep. Davidson. Uh, ex <laughs> Davidson accepted this statement with the comment that he had been told this before. <laughs> it's not even a new trick here. They viewed <laughs> and that he he had a second article for a publication concerning the Air Force handling of space sightings in the hands of the Pentagon security review people, which he thought was enough. Oh man, he's he's just gonna take them to the cleaners now. Uh, so paragraph two, we appreciate that there have been many cooks in the kitchen on this dish and that as a result, the extraordinarily non-committal and evasive methods they've been using with Davidson can only possible, uh, it would only work if, golly, this went so blurry. Uh. The answer we handed Davidson is not likely to be fully accepted by him. That's the point of this one. It ends with, in my favorite line, the last line, we are sure more will be heard from Davidson. Very ominous. Received a letter from Davidson. In which Davidson, uh, there's a lot redacted here. I mean, you, you can see that. In which Davidson asked if the redacted tape had been analyzed by ATIC at right field. Reply that the tape was forwarded to proper authorities for evaluation and no information was available concerning results. Blank then received a second letter dated 19 March from Davidson in which he said, since Blank was not in a position to make inquiries, he would like address of proper parties to whom to make them. Blank replied that he understood the proper address for forwarding information on flying saucers is Air Technical Intelligence Center. That's ATIC. Wright Patterson Air Force Base. Subsequently, Blank learned that Davidson made inquiries there. Apparently, they stalled him. It no, that's I did that's not my commentary. Apparently they stalled him. It's the last line. Yep. But who cares? Because, you know, people pursuing the truth, just stall them. Wait till they're tired. Wait till they don't even care to read documents that are uh, you guys saying what you do. Anyhow, last page. As he promised, Davidson sent a copy of his article to the Pentagon. They sent it to us without comment, and we sent it to Colonel Grogan, special assistant to DCI, with the remark that we did not see that anything could be done about it. He agreed. Reference last sent of your stuff. We do not want any business with Davidson. If he wishes to contact the agency, he already knows enough names. 
we do not see that any purpose will be served by giving him any more names or addresses. In addition, it is felt that we would only encourage more speculation by him were we to contact him again or to offer him a new channel if he should contact us. So unless there are overriding reasons in the future, we do not want involved in this mess. We, well, they say blank, but who knows who that is. Sorry to leave it with you, but the only purpose which would be served by other action would be to get your office off the hook by involving someone else in a matter in which we want no involvement. <laughs> that dude annoyed them to death. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you, Dr. Leon Davidson, cool cat, looked into a few things. He did a lot of stuff looking into Project Blue Book uh, and how UFOs were, in a lot of cases, Air Force test craft. Very cool guy, uh, at least as far as I can tell. So check him out. He's on Wikipedia. As always, these documents came from theblackvault.com, the largest repository of CIA declassified documents in the world, as far as I know. But who am I? Thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping up with that whole dag technical problem. And y'all have a good night. Peace.